everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is my first video I'm filming since I got back from Scotland. I'm all over the place. But today's video is going to be a review video over three products from the Lion King uh, makeup collection that Primark sells. And um, yeah, it's um, highlighters, highlighting palette. I'm sorry. Uh, eyeshadow palette and lipsticks. And I do swatch all three of the lipsticks for you. And you know, give you a little demo of the eyeshadow palette and all that fun stuff. So make sure you subscribe my channel before you leave. Hit my notification bell so you know I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. And let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so this video, it it's not gonna be really that different, but I've never done like a review over like a collection before. So I guess it is kind of different. But before we even get into that. Um, I did get a couple makeup things while I was overseas. This is my first video I'm filming since I'm back. And I just want to share them all with you really quick. That way, um, if you have a certain um, review you want, you can like DM me on Instagram. I think I put up a poll yesterday asking if you guys wanted reviews. So I'm just going to quickly show you them. There's only like four things. So um, it shouldn't take very long. So I got these four things. These are the only four things I'm not going to be using in this video. Um, so I'll talk about the rest throughout the video. But I did get four palettes from Makeup Revolution. Um, I cannot find Makeup Revolution in the States. Um, like at all. <laughs> so I got four other eyeshadow palettes. The first one here is Lemon Drizzle. Um, it looks like this. It's a very beautiful springtime palette. I want to know if you guys want reviews on these. So that is why I'm showing them to you. This one is Peanut Butter Cup. And this one is like a warm tone lover's dream. And then Strawberry Cheesecake is this one. It kind of gives me Naked 3 vibes. And then the last one here I have is Macaroons. And this one's probably my favorite just because of the greens in here. It's absolutely beautiful. So I just want to know if you guys want a review video over one or maybe all four of these. Um, just let me know. That's why I quickly decided to show them at the beginning. So I'm just very quickly going to pop on some blush because I didn't actually buy a blush while I was overseas. So I'm just like very quickly just put a blush on um, like super fast. I haven't even contoured yet. So this, I'm doing it like a little out of order. All right, so I'm gonna contour using this. This is the Makeup Revolution Bronze and Glow Highlighter Duo. It looks like this, this contour, this bronzer shade looks like it'd be a nice contour color. So I'm just gonna give it a go um, and see what I think about it. I haven't even used these yet. Um, that's kind of why it's first impression, you know? I would swatch them, but since it's just like a bronzer and highlighter, I'm not going to because I feel like when you bronze them, you don't really do a lot for them. It's decently pigmented. It's blending out quite nice. I mean, do you guys see that? It's doing its job. I really like it. It's not going on patchy or weird, which is good. My cheek is done. It looks pretty good. Let's do the other side and see what we think when both cheeks are contoured. It's a tad powdery, but nothing to be like alarmed of. Like it's not like flying everywhere in the pan. All right, so let's contour this jaw. Okay, um, overall I like that contour color. Um, the color is really good for my skin tone. It went on very smooth. It was really easy to blend. It wasn't like super difficult to work with at all, which so I really like it. I am going to use the highlighter, but I don't actually have a new bronzer. So I'm just gonna throw on the Physicians Formula one very quickly because I didn't buy a new one. Bronzers are some of those things, or one of those things that just don't really excite me. Like when I see them, like I'm just kind of like, yeah, whatever. I do like them, but they're just kind of like there. My favorite things are eyeshadow palettes. And I like lipsticks a lot, but bronzers, blushes, I'm just kind of like, yeah. You know, I do need more of them though. So like that's something I do need to like get better at purchasing. 
So we're just gonna very quickly bronze so we can move on. I already have foundation concealer powder on. I did that before we started filming just to speed up time because I don't have anything new to really discuss with you guys. All right, highlighters. I'm actually going to mix two highlighters together. So first I'm going to take the one from the Makeup Revolution palette. I haven't even swatched this one. Let me see what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like right there. It's really pretty, but I am going to mix two so I can try two different ones out. So I'm just gonna put this one on first since it's right in front of me. So we're just going to swirl a bit and put it on. Okay, that's really pretty. Do you guys see that? It has like, it's gold but it's not too dark on my really pale skin. It just, and it's not leaving like a stripe. It almost looks like a lit from within highlighter, just a little bit more intense than that. Cause it's definitely not super natural, but it's definitely not super, super intense either. It's like a nice in between, not glittery, not chunky. It's blending very smooth. It's going on very nicely. I like this. I like this a lot. I like this little duo. I'm glad I purchased it. So I'm just going to go down my nose a little bit. So that's the highlighter. It looks really, really good. I really like it. I really like this. This was a good product. Um, I'm sorry it's not more interesting. It's just two simple little products. So I thought I'd just throw it in at the beginning here. But I mean, this highlighter is beautiful. If you can find one, I don't know how many duos they have or if they even have more than one. Um, but if you can find one that you think would work for your skin tone, I would 100% give it a shot because this is really nice and it was really affordable. I like that. All right, the other thing, the main focus of this video is the Lion King makeup. And this is the Lion King Be Fierce Highlighting Palette. Um, this is the packaging. It's really cute. And these are the four highlighters inside. So I could probably get away with using the first two, not the last two, but I'm going to use the first one just to test it out on my face. So a lot more intense than the last one. Can you guys see the difference? This side's highlighted, but not nearly as intense as this side. So I don't think you need both unless you like to alternate like I do sometimes I don't want a super intense highlight but this highlight is going on smooth it's not chunky it's a bit chunkier than the makeup revolution one but it's nothing to be scared of like it's blending out it's not like sitting on top of my skin like up close um, I do have texture and rosacea but like you can see that's highlighted it's it went on smoothly so yeah, that was pretty nice. Let's see if I can swatch all four of them for you guys so you guys can get an idea what all four look like. So here are the four highlighters. Ooh, Ooh the, the second one might be too dark for me, so I might only be able to get away with the first one. But there they are. So that's one from Makeup Revolution and these four are from the Lion King palette. Um, yeah, I think the only one that's going to match me is going to be the first one, but those were very, very pigmented highlighters and they blended out beautifully and this is only five pounds. So it's pretty affordable if you can find it. Um, I would get it. So now we're to the thing that I think most of us are excited about. It's what I'm most excited about. If I can get it out here, this is the Lion King eyeshadow palette and I think it's just called, yeah, it's called The Wild Side. It has a picture of Simba on the front. It's super cute. And this is what the palette looks like on the inside. It's just a nice everyday neutral palette. It has one, two, looks like three mattes. It doesn't actually say it looks like three mattes and the rest are shimmer. But it is a really, really pretty palette. I do like how it's round. I like that it's not square, it's different. This was six pounds. And yeah, I think we're just gonna do something a little more on the natural side today. Perhaps I say that and we'll be super dramatic. So I'm going to swatch all the colors for you and be right back. All right, so here are all these shades. The shimmers are really, really, really beautiful. The mattes, you do need to layer more than once, but they're still pretty. Um, the shimmers, though, I think are my favorite part so far. 
So here's my face up close and personal. So we're going to prime using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I prime in every single video, pretty much. And it's a necessity for me. So I'm just gonna throw on some eyeshadow primer. I missed filming so much, you guys. I love doing it. And going five weeks without doing it, oof, oof, lasted forever. But I'm ready to continue. You guys are probably like, girl, you haven't even been gone because I've been uploading the whole time. But I pre-filmed like crazy the way I could have videos done the whole time I was gone. And <sighs> yeah, it's been a wild ride, but you know, I'm so happy um, that I'm able to film again. Honestly, if I was able to like film while I was gone, I probably like wouldn't have even cared. Like it would have been great, but I don't know how I would have done that. So yeah, we're just going to pop this on here and go from there. Alrighty, so we have eyeshadow primer on and there's not a lot to work with as in, in like this palette, but I think um, the color scheme is still pretty good. Um, so I'm going to take the shade Sunrise. My forehead's itchy. I'm going to take the shade Sunrise, which is this one right here, and I'm going to use that as my transition color. There's not a lot of mattes to work with, so this may be a good supporting palette towards the end. I don't know. I hope there's not fallout because I did my foundation first. Okay, the color went on nice and smoothly, but I did have to layer it three times. It looks matte in the pan, but it, it looks like it's almost a satin on my lid. Like, it ha definitely has a little bit of a sheen to it. So now I'm going to take the shade Kingdom, which is this one right here, and I'm going to put that in my crease. I have little fuzzies all over my face. Again, it looks matte in the pan, but it definitely has a sheen to it on my lid. That I'm not a huge fan of. Because it's not like a sheen that blends out. The more you blend, it like, it stays there. I don't know if you guys can really tell on camera, but there's definitely a sheen there, which isn't necessarily bad. I know some people love using satin mattes in their crease, but I was just expecting it to be a matte because it looks like it's matte in the pan. And I think I would like it a lot better if it was matte, but it's definitely not bad. It's blending together with that other shade beautifully. And I mean, it's doing its job of blending, but it's not what I was expecting. I think I'm gonna take the shade Savannah, which is this one right here. I'm gonna pack that on all over my lid just to see how these shimmers perform. Okay, so they're pretty. I mean, are they the most like mind-blowing shimmers? Like, did they knock my Lorac ones out of the water? No, not not at all. But are they nice? Yeah, especially for the price, they're really good. I think this would be nice if you are, sorry, my phone's vibrating. Um, if you are learning how to do eyeshadow or you like quick 
everyday natural things and you still want to play just like a little bit of color nothing too crazy I think this would be good or if you're just like a huge Disney Lion King fan this would probably be really good for you I mean it's definitely not bad I'm just packing that on all over my lid all over So, I mean, it's definitely not bad. I mean, it looks pretty good. So, I'm going to take that original brush we were using and just blend out the edges with no extra product. And I do like how the names are on the back with what color they are. That way, you're not just guessing. I like that a lot. It makes it really easy to know what color you're using. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Brave, which is this dark brown right here. And I'm going to blend that on the outer part of my eye. Yeah, I lost my nails while I was in Scotland. Crowny face. I'll get them back eventually. I'm just letting my nails have like a, my natural nails have a break from acrylics. So my nails are back to being ugly and short, but it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna take Brave across my lower lash line just a little bit. And I'm gonna take a mixture of Sunrise and Kingdom, which are these two, and just start blending that out. All right, so I'm going to finish my makeup and then um, we will be back to do the lip swatches. All right, so there are three lipsticks that are in this collection and the packaging is super cute. Um, I love it. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. And they're really tiny. I wish the names of them would have been a little bit more creative. <laughs> they're kind of disappointing. They're literally just called Nude Pink and Red. I wish they would have been a little bit more creative with the shade names for the lipsticks, but these are the three lipsticks that we're going to be using. So first I'm going to swatch Nude. The bullet, the, the bullet looks like this. It's a weird shape. So I don't know if I'm gonna like that, but this is Nude. Very creamy. I'm going in without a lip liner just to see how they apply. Alright, so that is nude. It's a pretty color. Um, very, very creamy. I don't think these would be super long lasting. I'm looking at my mirror here and I do think if you wanted it to be a little bit longer lasting uh, to line your lips would probably be the best option. It's comfortable, not sticky. Um, it's not transferring to my teeth that bad. I mean, most of the time I get lipstick on my teeth. Who are we getting? But the lipstick itself is pretty. Um, I did have to go over it a couple times, but that happens um, with lighter colors sometimes. So that can just be because of the color it is. But I do like this color. Um, I'll probably keep it at least for a while because it is a really pretty color. So expect to see it in a future video, I'm sure. All right, so the next shade we have here is pink. Again, the same weird shape bullet. I don't know how I feel about this bullet. All right, this is for sure a color that I would wear. Like this is a me color if I've ever seen one. I have the fuzzy stuck to the tube already. It's been like a minute, wow. 
So this is pink. Um, it's definitely a lot brighter than what I was expecting it to be. Um, again, I had to layer it a little bit. I think maybe that might just be the formula, not just the color this time. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, I did have to layer it, but it wasn't like constant layering. Two layers, it was good. I don't really like the color with the eye makeup, but I mean, it's still a pretty color. I'll probably end up keeping this one as well, at least for a little while. It kind of reminds me of, where is it? The Smashbox Primrose Lipstick, just not as... Um, muted. This is more of a bright version. I love the Smashbox lipstick. It's like my favorite lipstick ever. But this reminds me a lot of it. So if you are looking for like a dupe that's not exact, this will probably be a really good option for you. Um, again, I don't really like the, the shape of the bullet. It's like a, it's kind of hard to use it, but I do like the color. So we only have one left. All right. So the last one we have here is red and I love red lipstick. So I'm really, really excited about this. That's a horrible application. Okay, so that is red. It's probably my favorite color out of the three. It's just a stunning, stunning color. My application's kind of bad, but it's beautiful. I love the way it looks on my skin. I love the way it looks with this eye makeup, this very warm eyeshadow. It's very, very pretty. This one I didn't have to layer like the other ones. In fact, I was like barely pressing down and it was like very pigmented. It was a beautiful, they're comfortable. Again, I think they probably will bleed. Um, this one's a little bit stiffer than the other two. So this one might be a better option about not bleeding, but I do think it'll probably end up bleeding just a little bit just because they are so creamy. I'm looking in the mirror to see if I have any bleeding happening. Um, I don't see anything as of right now, but overall I do really like the lipsticks. I like that they're set and I like how they're they're small. So this is just a CoverGirl lipstick. They're not like hugely different in size, but they are a little bit smaller. The tube is a lot smaller, so it is a little bit harder to hold. But um, as I worked with them, it got a little bit easier. As for the eyeshadow palette, I do really like the eyeshadow palette. Is it um, like the most amazing thing ever? Is it like, will I throw away all my other eyeshadow palettes? Absolutely not. Um, it's definitely nice. I think I mentioned it earlier how if you are a beginner in eyeshadow or you don't like putting on a ton of eyeshadow or you just, you know, just want something quick, cheap, um, every day, but you still want to have a little bit of color that's not too crazy, this would probably be a really good option for you. If you're a Disney fan, Lion King fanatic, this would probably be a really good option. I think I like the lipsticks and the highlighting palette a little bit more than the eyeshadow palette, but I still really liked all three of the items. Um, amazing. I will definitely keep it. I'll probably use it in future videos. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's not anything super unique color scheme wise to my collection, but not every single person out there has 74 eyeshadow palettes. So it's still a really good option to have. And I like that it's tiny. It'd be great for traveling. So that is all I have for this video. So make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Hit my notification bell so you know when I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. And I will see you in my next video.